Good morning, everyone. Officials from Bank of Uganda, led by Deputy Governor Michael Tinge Ego, and the Minister of State for Planning, Amos Lugolobi, appeared before the Finance Committee of Parliament to present the sector budget framework paper for 2023-2024. It's not true that government has taken any advance from Bank of Uganda in the last two financial years under the PFMA Act of the 10% of the revenue. There were initial plans to take that advance in 2021-22 financial year, but that did not materialize. The investment on the commercial oil production remains the top priority to boost the country's balance of international payments in the next four years and is also seen as the main avenue to aid in the debt service payments. The deputy governor, Michael Ting Aigo, says the debt service payments in the next four years stands at $900 billion and the country can only acquire more commercial loans with maturity beyond four years' time frame. Because we don't want anything to mature within four years since we are already laden with a $900 million debt service payment in the next four years. Uh, in terms of the amount of money we are spending, uh, we have reduced, and for those numbers, we have reduced our appetite for borrowing, considering what is happening sure. on the financial market. But the members of parliament are suspicious of the possibility of the projected commercial oil production failing to progress as speculated by government. If you are able to identify the risk, why weren't you able also to identify the corresponding mitigating measures to address that particular risk? As it is today, we have all the necessary legal frameworks in place and we are busy implementing all the interventions that are required in this sector. So we are still on schedule. So are you suggesting But at the same time, are you suggesting we need to emphasize, like the governor is indicating, mm -hmm. the issue of enhancing our exports, yeah. the export sector, to continue mm -hmm. performing. Yeah. And that's why we are looking at more commercialized agricultural production, investments in tourism. In the government plans to cement the resilience of Uganda's economy towards growth, Fiscal consolidation tops the campaign to keep a vibrant, productive economy by increasing revenue and reducing on the government expenditure. However, Bank of Uganda officials won against a move which will affect growth enhancing activities. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News.